For nearly 30 years, the colorful sidewalk lined garden has drawn quite a crowd in Lakeview. Erin Ivory is here with the story of the man behind all those flowers. <laughs> all those flowers. <laughs> yeah, and when you think of seasoned gardeners, Frank Coppola, he's not going to be the kind of guy that you would come to mind, right? But for three decades, he has been the man behind some of the most gorgeous flowers in the neighborhood. Take a look. <laughs> It's a beautiful day. For Frank Capilla, each day starts with a set of gloves and a song. How does it feel? As he settles into his happy place here on the corner of Nelson and Polina. I just like the color. I think it adds to the whole neighborhood. A bed of glorious blossoms. See coneflowers, black-eyed Susans will come up, Shasta daisies. They'll pop up, the roses will pop through. Stretching from one end of the street to the other. It's nice to be able to like literally stop and smell the flowers sometimes. It takes a special human to plant more than 500 bulbs just to brighten someone's day. Hello. Hi. What are you doing? And it's nice to come out and find a little field out here in the middle of the city. The problem is the source of all that color and joy <laughs> is the same thing driving him mad. If someone picks a flower and he sees it, you better run for your life. Are you kidding? And the biggest thorn in his side? Oh, here's a big boy. Frank's mother of all four letter words, weed. This is the dreaded one. And he's like, mother. I didn't throw that word out, did I? Like, what's going on over there? And he'll be like, nothing. He tries to hide the hatred for the spiny green things. Be gone, Satan. A daily battle of garden warfare. This is a weed. I don't know what it's called, but it multiplies by the hundreds. To save his beloved beauties. Yeah, right there, that's a black eyed Susan, but here's a weed. He has like a relationship with flowers or something. I don't know. But you guys are going to be so pretty. Like, he talks to them like people, for real. Ignoring a torn meniscus and the occasional back flare-up, all for the love of flowers. Why are you gardening? He won't listen. He's obsessed with this garden. Well, it's not an obsession as much as it's, it's, an, it's an a obsession. need. It needs to be cleaned it's up. It's an obsession. Frank says... Sometimes you gotta get a little dirty to spread sunshine. A little extra rose that found a spot. I don't know where he came from. And he can't think of any other corner. Glad to see him. He'd rather do it. What's up, gang? I have inspired some people. <laughs> they do like it. <laughs> and it's not just the preschool kids. Apparently, a lot of neighbors take the long route home just to be able to walk by and smell the flowers. And I love how he's like whacking the kids with the weeds that he's got in his hand <laughs> as he's going by, right? Exactly. He's such a character. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that was so beautiful, but I haven't laughed that hard yeah. in a long time. Yeah. But stop, stop smell, look, do not pick. <laughs> do not yeah. dare pick one of Frank's flowers. Oh, thanks, thanks Aaron. Aaron. Still had another bump at the